Hi there, and welcome to The Magician's Advice Recommends. My name is Ian Brennan. Thank you for tuning in today. I've got another effect for you that might have slipped through your net when it first came out. I use this a lot and I highly recommend it. In fact, I can't recommend this enough. I love it. It's called The Baby Book Test and it's by John Morton. Check this out. It looks so innocent and yet it's so clever. It's so devious. It's called the baby book test. It's called the baby book test and it's on the front. It looks like, can you find the, can you find the cat? Can you find the flower? The pattern I tend to use with this is I found this book in the works. It says it's for age nine months plus. I figured it was a good challenge for me because I'm over nine months. I know it's a terrible joke, but with an audience, it gets a nice cringy laugh. I love it. And then you go through and you show the pages, they're all different. Can you find the butterfly? The butterfly is the bottom left. Can you find the flower? That's in the middle. Can you find the moon? That's in the top. I'm really good at this because I've, I've practiced lots. I can find it really quick. And that gets a little laugh as well. The moon's on the top middle. Can you find the scissors? Scissors are bottom left. I'm really good at this. Then you say, actually, no, we'll, we'll try something a bit different. Well, I'm going to see if we're sort of in tune here. I want you to choose any page you like. In fact, before you do that, check that they're not all on the same page. And you give them the book, they flick through it. The dog's in the bottom. The plane's in the middle. The scissors in the bottom left. It really has nothing to do with the position. So they can check through it as much as they like. And they're never going to find this, the answer to this. Uh, I've done this to lots of magicians as well and lots of magicians don't find the answer to this anyway they flick through you find a page i want you to think of the big picture at the top think of that big picture at the top this one's a cat and then read out all the ones at the bottom so they'll read out chair phone pencil cat keys tractor umbrella airplane house and then straight away you the magician know that the answer is a cat you don't have to look at this. You don't have to be in the same room as them. You could do this where you post them the book beforehand and then do it over the phone. It's quite clever. I then tend to take it up to the next level of difficulty because maybe I'm so sad that I remembered every single page in the book, which I could have done, I guess. So I say, we're gonna take it up to the next step of difficulty. This time, whatever page you choose, just read out the row that has the item in. So this one's a flower, just say, phone, flower, airplane, or the column, house, flower, pencil, and I'll be able to work it out. And you can even do it in any order. So house, flower, pencil, or pencil, house, flower, whichever order you like, the column or the row, and I'll be able to work it out from there. And they do. And then I say to make it even more challenging, find a page, any page you like, and read out any three objects, so long as one of them is the target object. Scissors, rainbow, TV or car, chair, rainbow, or rainbow, pencil, chair, any three objects, and you can still work it out. And that goes from a kind of a three-step process for the routine, hand it out to three people or around three steps of the audience. It seems to build it in more complication. It seems to make it more difficult and it, it blows their minds. They've got no idea how you work it out. One thing I spotted before with my performance, and I can't remember John's instructions on this, but the way I perform it is we do all the items, I work it out, new page, a row or column, I work it out, and then any three items. When I perform it, I say that gets more difficult, but really that gets a lot easier, doesn't it? Because at the start, you've got a one in nine chance. And then for the next two pieces, you've got a one in three chance. So really, it's getting easier, but shh, don't tell them that. Um, people like the idea that maybe I've memorized each page. The randomness is what makes it more difficult. Yeah, I love this little thing. It's so sweet and innocent. I say I bought it from the works, which is like a cheap bookshop here in the UK. Um, there's no markings in here to say that it's a magic prop, which I quite like, because you get some books and it has little bits and written by so-and-so on the back. Now, the only thing you'd know is Copyright E-Rose 2015 on the back. Um, but even then, you, you've got to be in the know to know what that's all about. Yeah, can't recommend it enough. The Baby Book Test by John Morton. He's done another one as well, which is a blue version. I've got that as well uh, somewhere. 
personally I'm not as keen on that one it's about sports and it it's a little bit less intuitive um, the sports aren't quite as quick to read as these are I mean they're very similar in a lot of, in many many ways but I prefer the bright pictures and the silliness of it all it's a really lovely silly routine a bit of fun I can imagine someone like John Archer doing this on stage and having a lot of fun with it and a lot of gags um, I'm going to leave that there. I'm not going to say any more. That's John Morton's Baby Book Test. It's well worth checking out. I'm not sure how much it's going for now. I think I bought mine a couple of years ago from John. But do drop him a message if you're interested. And if he's got any of those around, then yeah, check it out. The other thing you can do with this, it, once you know the principle, there's nothing stopping you coming up with your own version that uses the principle. So if you didn't like the high gloss, childish look of the book and the, the silly factor, I love this. But if you didn't like that, then you could always reuse that principle you've learned from this in something else and you can have your own little book published. I think this one's great, but it's up to you. Um, the other thing to mention before I put this away is I do a one-man parlor show and I've recently taken this out of my one-man parlor show. I still love the effect, I still take it around with me to gigs, but I've taken it out of my show. If you're a member of the Magic Circle and you read the Magic Circle magazine, I've put in my next column which is coming out in May um, why I've taken this out of there and if you want to find out more about why then read that column or drop me a message and I'll let you know I love this I swear by it it's a great routine John Morton baby book test can you find that cat that's all for now check out our Facebook page for the latest updates click subscribe hit the bell icon and we'll tell you exactly what's going on in the magicians advice community at the moment uh, our latest podcast should be out by now I think it was JJ Lucia and Magic Touch that was one of the latest ones but keep your eyes peeled there's more podcasts coming out soon plenty of content going on and yeah in these times of difficulty don't be a stranger drop us a message and say hi see you next time Bye-bye.